In 2009, Australia's bid to host the FIFA World Cup was officially launched. Football officials were positive about winning the bid, but Benita Merciades, former head of Corporate and Strategic Affairs at the Australian Football Association and in the management for the Australian bid to host the FIFA World Cup, spoke today at the Play the Game conference about the faults and fraudulence behind the bid. Australia would host a very good World Cup. Um, we have the experience to host a mega event. Uh, we don't yet have all the infrastructure, but that's something that could be developed. Um, however, I would not recommend that we bid until the issues around the transparency and governance for FIFA is actually fixed. Merciades detailed three main issues of the flawed FIFA guidelines. The first issue was that only 22 men voted. Secondly, the bid was for both the 2018 and the 2022 World Cups. And thirdly, it was a requirement of the bid to have a legacy. Within these flaws was a myriad of unaccounted for expenses. The compelling story that we did have didn't get out in the end, and I'll come to why that's the case. But not only that, even if it had got out, the flawed bidding process which FIFA set up wouldn't have allowed it anyway. It was never going to be an even playing field. If there was never going to be an even playing field, the question begs, should Australia have waited for a more democratic environment? Certainly with the benefit of hindsight, yes, absolutely. Um, I, I think we should have raised questions about the guidelines because they were pretty obvious that there were, there were issues with them. Um, but you have to see that in the context of what Australian football was trying to achieve at the time. I've written a whole other paper on this about how um, year, for decades we've tried to get a turbo boost to football in our country um, to make it sort of be number one. Um, and the bid was part of a strategy for that. Um, so if you look at it in that context, you can understand why it was done. Um, but should we have sort of taken a step back at some stages? Yes, I think we should have. And, and you know, that, that, they were the issues I kept raising. It, uh, there were certain points in the bidding process where we could have withdrawn. And there is a legitimate question to ask is, would we have been better to withdraw and having spent some money than, than keep going in something which we knew was fatally flawed and spending all the money?